What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Too Smoothie Live back with another reaction video today. We got a, a little good video for us, a little special video. If you if you ask me, uh, we got, I guess you could say a debate. We got Kyrie versus Stephen Curry. Me personally, I'm gonna give y'all who I feel like is the better basketball player of all time or higher, whatever, whichever one you wanna put. Uh, first, which started this all off, Nick Young, Swaggy P, fucking dog, great, one of the greatest. Don't play with that nigga name. Uh, Nick Young says people are scared to admit that Kyrie Irving is better than Stephen Curry. Kyrie is the Kobe Dr Kobe Bryant to Stephen Curry's Michael Jordan. People are scared to say he's better. I'm a uh, go put. I'm gonna put y'all on my opinion first. Then we gonna probably look at some comments. My opinion, like, like I said, I don't. Whenever I say this shit on these videos, bro, whether I talk about Giannis, Jokic, LeBron, KD, Jalen, or uh, Brunson, no matter who I'm talking about. I don't say anything f out of pity, out of hate, out of bias, or out of, yeah, none. I really mean the shit I'm saying. Like, just because y'all y'all could think I'm delusional, okay? That's cool. I'm not mad, you know? Y'all probably don't think what I'm saying is true. But I, like, I really mean the shit I say. And when I say I don't think there is a, like, like I said, I look at basketball how, like, probably the pros really look at this shit, like, for real. Like, I don't look at it from a fan's point of view how y'all do. When you actually do shit... You could look at it different. Like, if I actually play hockey, I could look at hockey shit like, oh, that was a nice goal. And then someone, like, who don't play, like, oh, bro, he just hit it through the pucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? It's levels to shit when you, when you, you know what I'm saying? And I look at basketball different. And what I'm saying is I don't think there's someone who can grab a basketball and do what Kyrie Irving can do with the basketball. I, that, that didn't, that didn't answer the question. That does not answer the question. Uh, because that, that doesn't mean everything. You know what I'm saying? But y'all don't, like I'm saying, like, y'all really don't understand. And, and I'm telling y'all, when I watch Kyrie more and more, I really pick up to really what he's really doing. Like, I don't just look at it how I used to. Like, oh, that was a great car. Like, I'm really, look, like, it's so much. I I can't even get, it's really so much more to what y'all seeing that he's really doing with this basketball in his hands. Like I was saying, nobody could do what he could do with the basketball. I don't care who you point out, who you, nobody could do what Kyrie Irving can do with a basketball. And that's facts. Okay, so uh, and let's throw this. I've I've made it in like three, five Kyrie videos. I talk about every time I speak on Kyrie, it's the same narrative. Y'all say uh, just cause he drip like, bro, y'all. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take my, I'm not gonna let, bro, I'm not gonna let pass. I'm not gonna let that get to me. I'm gonna just say, I don't know why y'all act like Kyrie just dribbles good. Can we please throw that narrative out the window? Like, do I have to sit here and tell y'all? Okay, I, I will. Kyrie one is a great defender. If you watch basketball and watch him play defense, I'm not saying the nigga gonna stop niggas from scoring. He's six two. He not stopping shit. Jason Tatum gonna kill the nigga. Martin Zubak get the ball down there. They're going to kill him. Yes, but he is a great defender for his size and for what he's supposed to be doing. Legitimately, if you watch the games, he is a, a great defender, my nigga. Y'all like I, I promise y'all don't. I really feel like, and it's funny because I watch highlights, but I really see a lot more after games, and I really watch a lot more. But y'all really, do y'all really watch basketball? Y'all just get on Twitter and just say shit. I really don't think y'all. A lot of y'all watch the sport, and like I said, it's levels when you actually do this shit. When you're looking from a point, y'all look at shit and be like, well, this guy scored 13 on Kyrie this this half, so he must not. Y'all don't really see what's like y'all. We can go in all day. Kyrie, great defense for a 6'2 fucking point guard who's not even a strictly the defender. You know what I'm saying? He's not even a fucking supposed to be a defender, but he has great defense for what it is. The best ball handler to touch a basketball. Whether you want to say off speed, whether you want to say off the move he's actually making. Like, a, like, niggas could dribble fast good all the time. The moves he's making, like, he's the best getting to my spot ever. That's not even a thing. I just had to say that because it, it, it tied in. He is the greatest finisher of all time. Like, I really wish I could pull up clips. I don't care to do all that shit. I can pull up clips. I can pull up anything, y'all. He's the greatest finisher of all time. He's better than Vince Carter. He's better than LeBron James. He's better than Michael Jordan. Who's Who else finishes good? Uh, just Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's the greatest finisher in the history of basketball. Y'all don't want to give that to him. I'm going to give that to him because there's nobody finish. He has the two greatest made layups in the history of the NFL. I said NFL. NBA. The one over Kyrie where Kyrie... This man got blocked by one of the greatest defenders of all time. He he got blocked mid shot and still made it. Then he made a, sh a up and under layup, pull his arm over three human beings on the Clippers against, I think it was Harden, Pete, shit, Jay Tucker, and Paul George. 
And look, I'm not saying because it's... And this is what y'all do. Y'all trying to make the narrative of because it looks cute. No, it looks cute, but it's fucking godlike too. It just looks cute, which adds skill points. You know what I'm saying? So that thanks for adding skill points, but that's not all it looks. It's just not just look cute. It's actually what he's doing. Uh, greatest handler of all time. Greatest finisher of all time. Top five greatest mid-range... Okay, we, we don't... If we want to single out, because like I said, when I get to Curry, we're going to say three-pointer. So a top five greatest mid-range shooter of all time. In a fucking phenomenal shooter. This is what I don't like. Like I said, it's repetitive because I say it every time I speak on Kyrie. Just because Kyrie's a god with his handles doesn't mean he's not a fucking a Mac. His shooting is amazing. Kyrie is an amazing three point shooter. He's like a 92, 94 overall three point shooter. Y'all don't know that because if he's so fucking good at everything else, it's like, oh, you only think he know he he does way more. And this is why I'm here to shut this shit the fuck up. Because I'm really tired of niggas acting like Kyrie just get a ball, dribble good, and, and and then make a clip, and then, like, don't do nothing for that to the seat. That's what y'all... It's so corny to me. It's corny. Okay? It's corny. Uh, what else? Amazing three-point shooter. Uh, what else do you do in basketball? Passing? I mean, Kyrie don't really, like, pass. Like, I don't really see Kyrie ever having to pass really a lot. So, passing, he's still regular passer. Like, I mean, he fucking play makes. He gives niggas the ball. Like, he passed to the open guy after a double team. He passed the ball. It's not like the nigga don't pass just because he's not doing nothing flashy. Or he passed the fucking ball. Like, so you can't just say he's not facilitating when he passed the ball. He creates open shit with three to fucking two to three, bare minimum two niggas guarding him a drive. So, he has to be doing some type of facilitation. Or do y'all not add that in now? Who knows? Who knows what y'all do? Uh, So, he facilitates in my books because he's getting another. He, facilitating to me is team playing. And making sure the team is straight. And that's what he does. Because three people running him. He gives it up and got. You know what I'm saying? So he facilitates. What else can you do in basketball? Uh, so that's defense. That's everything dribble. That's shooting. So to me, Kyrie Irving is a 99 overall player. For his... How the fuck can you like... He's a 99 overall player. D difficult shots. Holly, he's the greatest player ever. If we're being fucking honest. Now let's get to Stephen Curry. Greatest shooter of all time. Him and Kyrie. Like Kyrie's handles to Kyrie or to Curry shooting. Boom. Like, no one can touch that thing right there. That's that's their thing. Second, Curry's second best at, I'd say, like, uh, it's not facilitating. It's like, get, find, not finding a shot. Like, getting around the court, um, fucking put, not pushing off, but like, you know, doing the moves, getting behind the screen, doing that shit. Whatever, like, I, my mind can't think of it. That right there. Getting open, really, you could say. Curry's amazing at that, which is huge. You know, get the ball to fucking Draymond Green. Curry's attracting three people off the screen. He get he got them. We know the plays they make. So Curry's amazing at that dribbling. Curry's a, a great dribbler. Like I said with Curry, or with Kyrie, just because Curry's shooting is the greatest ever we'll ever see doesn't mean he can't dribble. Curry's dribbling is fucking beautiful. It's not close to Kyrie. I'm not like I'm just being honest. Kyrie's shooting is closer to Curry's shooting than Curry's dribbling is closer to Kyrie's fucking dribbling. A lot of people will omit this shit that's that's in front of us though. But Curry's a great ball handler. Curry makes great moves. Curry's fucking amazing. Like I said, these are two. These are easily the two greatest point guards to touch the basketball. These are my two favorite point guards. Like these two are literally like for right here for me. So like I'm, I wouldn't downplay neither. So it wouldn't make sense for me to say, oh, like I'm not edging Kyrie. No, these are my favorite players to fucking touch a ball. Uh, Curry, great handling defense. Curry, I'm not gonna lie. Curry doesn't like. Curry has okay defense for like I said, guard and a nigga who's not supposed to do that shit for real. Like he's not supposed to be out there playing defense, and he still has okay, great, good defense. Like real talk, Curry like can make some plays on defense. Get he can do, you know, he's yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I guess so. Factoring all that in, Kyrie is a better human. Kyrie is a better prototype than Curry. That's that's when you talk about the person as they are. He's a better prototype than Curry. Anybody saying otherwise is fucking drunk. I'm not saying Kyrie's going to average more points than Curry. Kyrie's going to do this more than Curry. No, because Kyrie chooses to fucking... Kyrie, one, chooses to be so unselfish. For whatever reason, he plays with the worst fucking players ever. He still chooses to be unselfish. He chooses to shoot the tough shots he shoots. If Kyrie wanted to play like... Which I would never want him to see, but Kyrie could play like Curry and like score a lot more points. But Kyrie literally... It's two different plays. We can go all day. Okay? But uh, prototype, build, player, Kyrie, better. Awards. Trophies. MVP. C Curry takes off on Kyrie. And that's what y'all, that's why y'all got it so like, that's why y'all say, oh, Curry, like y'all act like Curry can just put Kyrie in the trash. And, and, and really, it's been like recently where y'all like been putting like, oh, Curry, if, if you don't think Curry's better than Kyrie, okay, we get it. Like I, like I said, Curry has four rings. I love that. Kyrie has one ring. Uh, Curry has one MVP. 
right. He should have like three, but you know, Jokic robbed them bitches. Uh, Kyrie did. I don't even fucking remember he has MP. I don't remember if Kyrie, what's Curry has a rookie of the year. I don't think he does. I know Kyrie does. So it's like, yes. And like I say all the time, when it comes to bro, these niggas won't even let Kyrie play a basketball game. Of course, he's not gonna be put in these MVP talks. He's not gonna be put in these. Um, he's not gonna be put in these all team and he's Kyrie is not the player they want to push nigga so that's why I don't get why y'all be over here like oh he hasn't even had an MVP vote before don't y'all think that should be saying something instead of like making it like a, oh he hasn't even had that shouldn't y'all be like that's weird Kyrie Irving hasn't even had an MVP vote like but the bonus and I love some bonus with all my heart but it's a bonus game. like you get what I'm saying like Kyrie has never been someone they're gonna push they're gonna put out there they're gonna they niggas not even in the top five list he didn't even make the all star like you know what I'm saying it's so he didn't go to team USA like it's clear as day that Kyrie ain't gonna be that's why I say that's why I talk about skill fuck all that other shit y'all put into this shit show me what a nigga gonna do with that basketball and no one can do what Kyrie can do with that basketball. So, like, all this shit y'all talk about is, sh like, he's not going to, Kyrie won't, this nigga Kyrie can do anything he wants. He's not going to win an MVP. It's not even possible. He's not even like, uh, to these niggas, likable to win an MVP. So, stop, like, that's what I be saying in these all NBA team shits. They're not going to put Kyrie, they're not, why would they put Kyrie on these shits? It's corny when y'all bring up everything like that. Team championships? That's different. They can't stop him from winning the championships. But guess who can Badass teammates. Another thing, that's why I don't like talking sports with y'all because all y'all do is talk about, as we're going to see, now we're going to talk about y'all shit. So to me personally, Curry takes off on Kyrie when it comes to accolades. Well, he beats Kyrie in accolades. In people with the ball, Kyrie beats Curry like this. In accolades, Curry beats Kyrie like this, right? But all together, I think they're either 100% or Kyrie's 100 and Curry's 99. Like, I, I can't, I, I could put Kyrie over Curry, but I can't put Curry. Okay, it's interchangeable. It's inter I could put Curry over Kyrie. It's interchangeable. But Kyrie, like, I, I don't know. I would solidify it as Kyrie over Curry. Like, but like I said, y'all gonna put trophies and shit into it, but which I'm about to speak on. But yeah, uh, let's see what y'all gotta say now. So me personally, I feel like Kyrie Irving, it, like, I can't say it out of my mouth. I just can't say it, but y'all get what I just said. I just said it. So then let's look at this nigga right here. No, no MVPs. Okay, he he can't get an MVP because the league the league literally doesn't like the kid. The, like it shows. We don't have to get into that. No Finals MVP. Yeah, the time he made it to the Finals, he played with the greatest of all time. If Curry, if any fucking body was on LeBron's team, they wouldn't have won Finals MVP. But it's cool, I guess. No scoring titles. Yeah, Kyrie has never been the one number one player like option, not skill, because that's clear as day. He's obviously that. He's never been the number one player option. He's never try to be a hungry oh I'm gonna I'm get 30 a game who the fuck gonna stop Kyrie ever scoring 30 points a game like like, like this is why I don't like talking sports cause it's like y'all see this shit but y'all wanna like act like it's not going on that's another thing uh another thing Kyrie isn't selfish he's unselfish he like he's unselfish we know this shit clear as day never been the best player on a contender See, this is what I, like, if y'all don't think Kyrie Irving wasn't better than, like, I can't say it, but Kyrie and KD and Le Harden, that, like, Kyrie, the, like, they're in, they're interchangeable. You can't just say, oh, KD shits on Kyrie. Why do y'all disrespect, like, now that I'm really looking at this shit, why do y'all disrespect Kyrie? This nigga's the most disrespected player of ever. Y'all really walk around and act like Kyrie Irving, not Kyrie Irving. Like, y'all, y'all all these, but where was he at when this happened? He didn't do nothing in Boston. He had this player. He did that. Like, that's cool. You could say all this shit all the time, but, like, but what we wrote, what are we going to be saying whenever Giannis, because Giannis is never winning a ring again. Nikola Jokic is never winning a basketball ring again. So those two, what are y'all going to do whenever they never win a ring again, but y'all going to be sucking their dick so hard and trying to put them in the top five, top ten top topics? Because that's what y'all going to be doing. Y'all not going to say nothing about Nikola Jokic and Giannis Antetokounmpo never winning any more rings after one ring, but y'all going to still put them in top ten talks whenever they retire. And y'all know y'all dick-eating ass niggas. Y'all already got them in top ten talks after one ring. So what are y'all gonna be saying then? Y'all always act like the nigga. Let's let's go. Let's talk about history. He was hurt. If if he not hurt or his teammates not hurt, when has he lost? Oh, what what about whenever him and KD uh, against the Celtics? Who the fuck else did they have on that team? The Celtics was out there double teaming Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, and they lost because they had Joe Harris, Nicholas Claxton. Look at the like. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, but like, let's see. This. Steph is closer to MJ and Braun than Kyrie is to Steph. First of all, Steph is already better than MJ. Him and LeBron are LeBron's better than like LeBron's greater than Curry. Curry's right there though, but Kyrie's right under LeBron's over LeBron's. Kyrie's the greatest player to ever touch the basketball. No one can change that. But like I said, people, 
is um, people was in here just disrespecting Kyrie. People, like I said, they're only going to say skilled. That's just the narrative. It's so corny. It's so corny. It's just the narrative, though. People are going to just disrespect Kyrie. And, and I get it. Like, Curry's still a great. That's what I'm saying. It's Curry, though. But I don't care. Kyrie, to me personally, is over Curry. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all bring up rings, bro, y'all got that. Robert Horry got that. I got on. Hey, talk about. And then the funniest, more funny thing when they play each other, Kyrie just like just does this nigga so nasty and greasy it don't even make sense but it's like how did i don't know i don't know but let me know what y'all think down below if y'all like me like i'm just gonna take me down below to tell me out